I'd like to take a moment to say something about all the young women who have appeared on this stage tonight. Each of them made a contribution to this pageant and to the two weeks leading up to it here in Lakeland. While our attention now necessarily turns to our finalists here, I want to thank and congratulate each of the 51 ladies we met this evening. Before, yes, they deserve that applause. Before I read the results, I want to say on behalf of everyone associated with the pageant that we would be proud and happy to have any one of you reign as Miss USA for the next year. Good luck to all of you. Now, I shall begin by reading the fourth runner-up. The fourth runner-up is Miss Minnesota. The third runner-up is Miss Louisiana. The second runner-up is Miss Illinois. Well done. Well, both of you step right down here, please. Now, Miss Texas, Miss New Mexico, one of you is about to become Miss USA. The other will be the first runner-up. And this is a very important position because if for any reason Miss USA cannot fulfill her obligation for the entire year, then the first runner-up will become Miss USA. Ladies and gentlemen, I shall read the first runner-up and then Miss USA. The first runner-up is Miss New Mexico. Miss Texas is Miss USA. Congratulations. I would just say that in our pageant, Miss Texas has been the first runner-up so often, and Laura Elena Herring has done it for her state. The cash awards and all the magnificent prizes are yours, Laura, and also the chance to be our country's representative in Miami, Florida, for the Miss Universe pageant on July 15th. Now, as your predecessor, May Shanley, reads the Miss USA Creed, why don't you walk right out here and show everyone how happy you are to be the new Miss USA. Now, before I read this, 
I'd like to take a moment to address all of the young ladies who have taken part in tonight's pageant. As usual, I'd like to say that all of them are winners, and they are just by having taken part in tonight's pageant. But also, this pageant has been a winner because you ladies have participated in it, and on behalf of everyone associated with the pageant, a very sincere thank you to all of you. Now, if you judges at home will get your scorecards ready, you can compare your opinions with those of our panel. To our five finalists, I say good luck. Be assured that we would be proud and happy to have any one of you as Miss USA. Here we go, I shall begin with the fourth runner-up. The fourth runner-up is Miss California. The third runner-up is Miss Mississippi. Congratulations. The second runner-up is Miss Georgia. Well, both of you step right down here, please. Now, one of you is about to become Miss USA. The other will be the first runner-up, and this is a very important position, because if for any reason Miss USA cannot fulfill her obligation for the entire year, the first runner-up will become Miss USA. I shall announce the name of the first runner-up, and then Miss USA. The first runner-up is Miss Ohio. Miss Texas is Miss USA. Congratulations. USA. Christy, you are the new Miss USA, the cash awards, and all of the magnificent prizes are yours, and also the chance to be this country's representative for the Miss Universe pageant in Panama on July 21st. Now, as your predecessor, Laura Martinez Herring, reads the Miss USA free, I'd like to have you step out here and show this wonderful Miami audience how happy you are to be Miss USA. this, I'd like to take just a moment to address all of the young ladies who have taken part in tonight's pageant. It is usual to say you are all winners, and you are just by having taken part tonight, but also this pageant has been a winner because you have participated in it. To all of you, on behalf of everyone associated with this pageant, a very sincere thank you. Now to our five finalists, I say good luck and be assured that we would be happy and proud to have any one of you reign as the new Miss USA. And joining us for this thrilling moment are two ladies who know just how exciting it can be. Laura Martinez Herring, Miss USA 1985, and our reigning Miss Universe, Barbara Palacios Tede. All right, here we go. We'll read the name of the fourth runner-up first. 
The fourth runner up is Miss Georgia. The third runner-up is Miss Missouri. The show me stage will be proud of you. The second runner-up is Miss Arizona. Very, very well. Now, Miss Florida and Miss Texas, will you come down here to me, please? One of you is about to become Miss USA. The other will be the first runner-up, which is a very important position, because if for any reason Miss USA cannot fulfill her obligation for the entire year, the first runner-up becomes Miss USA. Now, I'm going to read the name of the first runner-up, and then I'll read the name of Miss USA. The first runner-up is Miss Florida. Miss Texas is Miss USA. Congratulations, Michelle Royer. Three winners in a row from Texas. You're the new Miss USA. The cash awards and all the magnificent prizes are hers. And also the chance to be our country's representative in Singapore for the Miss Universe pageant on May 26th. Now, as your predecessor, Christy Fitchner, reads the Miss USA Creed, why don't you walk right out there and show everyone how happy you are to be the new Miss USA. Before I read this, let me take just a moment to congratulate all of the young women who participated in tonight's pageant. You and your families can be very proud. Thank you from all of us. And to the five finalists, we say good luck and we'd be proud to have any one of you as the new Miss USA. Here now to assist us, are two ladies who truly know the feeling of this exciting moment. They are Laura Martinez Herring, Miss USA 1985. And Christy Fitchner, she was Miss USA in 1986. And here we go. The fourth runner up is Miss Mississippi. Your third runner up, Miss Florida. Second runner up, Miss Georgia. about to name our first runner-up in the new Miss USA. Now both of these roles are very important because should the new Miss USA be unable to complete her reign for any reason, 
including being chosen as the new Miss Universe in May. Then the first runner-up becomes Miss USA. Our first runner-up is Miss California. Miss USA is Miss Texas, and that's Courtney Gibbs. <laughs> awards, the magnificent prizes, they're all yours, as well as the chance to be this country's representative at the Republic of China, the Miss Universe pageant in May. That was your predecessor, Michelle Royer, <laughs> reads the Miss USA Queen. Why don't you walk right out here and begin your reign as the new Miss USA. any one of you women be the new Miss USA. You're all wonderful. Thank you. Now, uh, to give us a hand, we have a young lady who really knows what this moment is like, the reigning Miss Teen USA, Mindy Duncan. Hi, Mindy. <laughs> Ladies, here we go. The fourth runner-up is Miss Georgia. The third runner-up is Miss Louisiana. The second runner-up is Miss New Jersey. Ladies, you want to come down here, please? Hang on to each other. I am about to reveal the name of our first runner-up and the new Miss USA. Now, should the new Miss USA be unable to complete her reign for any reason whatsoever? By the way, that could include being named Miss Universe in May. The first runner-up becomes Miss USA. Keep that in mind. Here we go. The first runner-up is Miss Oklahoma, Miss USA is Miss Texas, Gretchen Paul Hemus. <laughs> Congratulations. We've got to get a crown on this lady if we can. You are the new Miss USA. The cash awards and prizes are yours, as well as the chance to be our country's representative in Cancun, Mexico, at the 1989 Miss Universe pageant. Now, your predecessor, Courtney Gibbs, is going to read the Miss USA Creed as our entire cast serenade. The stage is yours. Gretchen, you are the new Miss USA 1989.
representing the states of the United States in the Miss USA pageant in order to further the cause of peace and mutual understanding, dedicate ourselves to the ideals of sportsmanship, friendship, and goodwill among all the people of the United States. My girl and me know that our love will last forever. My girl and me know that we do belong together. Sometimes it seems I shatter our dreams with some careless word of foolish lies. Oh. 